So I got blue screen. Or my laptop got blue screen. So hooray. It doesn't really feel good streaming from my laptop when it keeps crashing, but I'm like I try to activate as little as possible while, while I'm streaming. I don't have the browser up, I don't have Discord up, I don't have Spotify. Like I, I close down everything that starts up when I start it up. I only have OBS, Android Cam, and Presser Rocks running. Um, and still it crashes. So it doesn't really feel good. Just saying. But what can I do? Main cam lost focus. Is it focusing now? Can't see anything without my glasses. Hello. Controls are working, so um, excuse me. Okay, hold on, I'll restart it. There we go. Now we're back. I think. Is it in focus now? Hey! <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. I think it's in, in focus now. I'm not entirely sure though. Can you focus on me, please? All fixed. Okay, good, good, good. It still looked a little, little bit blurry on my end, but if it's if it's good, it's good. Let's see how long we can be able to stream until my laptop crashes again. Oh boy. Anyway, while my laptop restarted, I spread the oil out in my face and on my eyelids. And now I'm going to start prepping the eyelids. I think you're going to use a matte eye primer since we are going to use a sticky but non-shimmery cream shadow on top of it.
Krishna, can you see my eyes? Yes, you can see my eyes. My tray. I did clean or sanitize in school anyway. We're going to unpack this. Now, this I like. This is a solid, solid glass pot. For the product, which is really nice. Let's check the consistency. I don't know how this works. Um, it should be more creamy than a gel liner, I would believe. You can kind of spread it out as a base. Let's grab a small but fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab this one. This is the 234 Lux Smoky Shader. And let's start applying this. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and just blend it out in the edges. Get a smooth transition. I managed to get it on my face. That's okay. I'll we'll just wash it off later. First impression is really good, actually. It's creamy, it's easy to work with. It doesn't feel as it like it dries down as fast as a gel liner.
still have to work pretty fast, but it feels easier than with a gel liner. Absolutely. Let's clean that. I need to get a smoother transition here. Okay, let's try to just deepen the black. Yes, okay, okay, okay. I do feel like I want to um, grab a, an even smaller brush and just try to blend it out a little bit more around the edges. There we go. Let's clean up around the eye. And let's clean this brush. We're going to need it for eyeshadow. pad and some eye makeup remover washes off easily enough so that's good have a very good foundation for a smoky eye. 
So what we're going to do is that we're going to go in with the eyeshadows that we have planned. Starting with the lightest. So I'm going to use the lighter green, the light green. And we're going to, I think I'm going to clean the brush that I used to blend the black with as well because we're going to need this. There we go. So I'm going to use this one. We're going to start shoving it on on top. work our way down After that, I'm going to use the Petite Crease Brush. This is the number 231. I'm going to use that darker green shade in the, right in the crease. I'm going to blend it together with that light green. Not too much. And last but not least, we'll go in with that black. Let it rain. I'm gonna tap this on. Blend it upwards. Now we managed to flick the black on top of the green here, which was really my intention. But we're going to go back with the lighter screen and just try to blend these two. Rather blend these three. Need a clean brush. I'm just gonna blend the outer edge of this. 
grateful every day for the blessings that's been accrued but still i turn a silver spoon into a china set for those who think that i ain't work but it's the same ones who ain't find it yet at times i doubt it i remember what my dad said put the work in early it all pay off on the back end and now i'm looking back on all my mind is letting me i was 18 looking for dreams and some memories little did i know that i'd become the man i'm near and it's been molded by a culture and these years of experience you see i do feel bothered by that black spot that we managed to create here and now i leave it filled with all x's thank you for that There we go. So we are going to add eyeshadow underneath the eye as well, but this is going to wait until I have finished the rest of the face. But we do now do have a smoky eye. This is a classic smoky eye, guys. This is how it's done. If anybody suggests otherwise, they are wrong. I'm sure different schools teach different techniques, but my school focuses on teaching us kind of the international, global technique. I actually really like this. It is sparkly and nice and we can add a little bit of pigment to this if we want later to just give it that extra little pop. Feels like it's going to be an intense eye look today, guys, or an in intense makeup look in general. Mm -hmm. Sounds nice, huh? Hi, Caesar Mistra. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? You can definitely see the glow that I was talking about that this oil kind of creates. It's really, really nice. It's really subtle, but it's still there. It's just mm, really nice. Really nice. So, guys, today I'm really, really, I'm really excited because I managed to get my hands on the primer that I've been wanting to buy for a really long time. This is the NYX The Marshmallow Primer. I've heard good things about this, really good things, so I am excited. I am really excited. They do have a sponge for it, but I didn't get the sponge. It's a primer. I can go off. Anyone that has been here for a while knows that I usually kind of smear out the primer with my uh, my hands. So. Another one. It's just 
do like that. All right, let's do this. Ooh. Interesting. It looks kind of marshmallowy. This is. Hmm, hmm. Oh, it is very, very creamy, almost like moussey in texture. It's like a mousse. Oh my god, it smells amazing! Oh, it smells like... You know when you're in the, at, at the fair, or at the market, and you smell this kind of candy smell? That's how this smells. Oh my god. Woo! Oh, I got a good feeling just smelling this. Woohoo! Nice. So we're just applying it all over the face. Oh my god, my face smells like candy! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so we're just going to let this primer set for a little bit before we start adding foundation. I don't know if it's the primer and the oil that did this, but I have a, quite a lot of redness in my face today. And I do feel like it popped up the last five minutes. So I am trying a, a couple of new products today, so I'm not really sure how my skin is going to deal with them so we're just gonna have to see what happens i need to i need to dry my hands off I'm sorry, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna smell myself for a bit. It actually gives me flashbacks to um, when me and uh, and Tao has been on a date uh, uh, to Pincho Nation. If you don't know what Pincho Nation is, I I'm don't I don't think it exists outside of Scandinavia yet, but it is does exist in Sweden and in Norway, at least. Mm. It is a tapas restaurant but it's not classical tapas it's more like mini dishes that you can buy and eat like tapas um, and they have this special system where you order through app instead of uh, by a waiter uh, or waitress and um, they have all sorts of things they have candy related really, candy themed drinks um so when i when i have been there i usually take the um raspberry licorice uh skull drink it's like a gel candy in the shape of a skull half of it is black and half of it is is reddish it's uh raspberry licorice this this um primer actually smells a little bit like that and it's amazing 
It is amazing. <laughs> Make me smile. <laughs> All right, what foundation should we be using today? This is such an intense eye makeup. I do feel like we're going for a uh, full coverage. So I am going to use my Hourglass foundation today. This is the Hourglass Seamless Liquid Finish Foundation. Childhood memories? No, not really. More like... um. Yeah, that restaurant and the drink. Uh, I have been working in a candy store for about a year, year and a half. Um, but it didn't really smell like this. Um, it has a very, very peculiar smell to it. The first thing I thought about was, like I said, when you're at like a fair uh, with the Ferris wheel and everything, you, fe you feel all these, you smell all these smells, you know, it's cotton candy and it's um, polka dots, polka canes, um, colas, homemade colas and popcorn and everything. You feel this, it's kind of very sweet smell to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? But then uh, I, it also brought me to Pincho Nation, which is the tapas restaurant I told you about. All right, let's start with the foundation. And this is the shade Porcelain. Yes, Porcelain. Because I have skin white as Porcelain. <laughs> I am very fair skinned. Always been. And since I was diagnosed with my condition and my light sensitivity kicked in, it has not really improved. Because now it's like, I don't really go out that much. <laughs> if I do, I wear heavy sunscreen or a hat. It's also because um, my meds actually makes my skin very sensitive, so I get sunburned fairly easily. Um, so light sensitive get very easily burnt by the sun. Not really a good combo. So as you can see, this foundation has very full coverage. I don't really need more than one layer. Um, and I am going to um, blend it out a little bit with a beauty blender. This is only to get any brush strokes out and to even it out if, there, it's un if it is uneven at any place. Now my foundation smells like candy. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, next step would be concealer. So I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 06. I'm just going to apply some concealer on this box where I uh, need a little bit of extra coverage and places that I want to have lightened up a little bit. And this is going to be blended out with a beauty blender. My concealer is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And it's because I don't only want to use it to conceal with, but I also want to use it for a kind of highlight in a way. I had to apply a little bit around my brows because since I colored them earlier today, I have um, stained my skin around my brows. So they were a little bit auburn chestnut-y. <laughs> it is not they are. Well, they are, but not the skin around it. I mean, the skin is. Okay, never mind. I'm just messing things up right now. Okay, um, since we're going full, full out today, I am going to use my cream contour, cream contour, contour. So I'm going to use the um, Pure Foundation, Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Foundation Sticks. Um, these are in the shade Dark and Porcelain. I'm going to apply it to the sponge and then apply it to my face. This is just to get more control over the product and to be able to blend it out more evenly. I usually apply it to my face and then blend it out, but apparently I hear more and more people saying, makeup people, um, say that it's better to apply it to the sponge or to the brush and then blend it out instead of applying it to your face and then blend it out. So I am going to try this and see how it goes.
we go. That is the contour shade. We are now moving on, on to the lighter shade, which is the highlight shade. So that was, as you can imagine, the shade that is called dark. And now I'm moving on to porcelain. And I'm going to use the shade to kind of refine the, the lines underneath my contour. But also I'm going to use it on my nose and a little bit in my forehead it's just to bright the whole thing area up on my upper lip and on my chin almost like cheek but <laughs> I mean chin and then I will also apply it in the outer corners of my eyes This is again to shape the contour a little bit, but also to brighten up the area. And the contouring is done. Since we have been using cream products, we are now going to use a powder to set the base. Um, this is to lock the, the product in and to help keep makeup in place through the day, but also to prevent product in very thin areas like around your mouth and underneath your eyes prevent the product from creasing because anywhere where you have lines in your face products are bound to start creasing so yeah i'm going to use my viva la diva translucent setting powder for this It is debatable if you need to set your face or not. It is mostly a matter of personal preference. Now I managed to get powder on my skirt, as usual. I'm going to start with a smaller powder brush. This is the um, 132 Lux Powder Finish. And I'm going to use that to set the area underneath my eyes. Before you do, just keep, make sure that all of the product is evened out and that you don't have any lines showing. And don't be scared to kind of add a lot of product down here. Um, I usually put powder around this whole area, but it's because I'm wearing glasses and I'm just trying to kind of help it stay in place because it does rub off on my glasses and you get marks in your makeup after your glasses and stuff. It's pretty hard to prevent. Um, I do try every time, every time. I never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. But for a glowy look, if you want a kind of glowy or dewy skin look, um, you only need to, to set powder where you actually have lines and nothing else, because otherwise you will mat down the results that you are, you are after.
And then I will move over to a, move on to a bigger brush to set the rest of the face. <laughs> and I keep throwing stuff on the floor today, apparently. Get over here! <laughs> you never know. Suddenly there uh, might be a hook coming through the wall pulling you all the way to Norway. See what I did there? Uh huh. I have not played a lot of fighting games, but I do have a few references. Just a couple. A couple. Very few. I don't even remember what name, what game that was. Was it Soul Calibur? Mortal Kombat. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get scared looking at the walls. Aww. You would really complain being pulled to Norway, Morakai? Have a little vacation. There we go. Okay. Finally, we just touch the face a little bit to see if it's still sticky. If it still is sticky, you need more powder. More from that hook, really. Aww. Well, maybe it's like, you know, the, um, what is that called? I don't remember what they call it in Harry Potter. You know, when they transport through chimneys and stuff. Maybe it's a new, new means of transportation. I do feel my lips are drying up, so I'm just going to put some moisture on them. Maybe you can do the scorpion teleport too much for a while, though. <laughs> well, I mean, the people who have the abilities doesn't seem to be affected by them. Like, if you see on all, look at all these superheroes throughout the years. I mean, people can can create ice and burn things and turn themselves into fire, and they're not really affected by it, which is interesting i would say
move on with the eyebrows. Before we finish the eyes. This is where it gets interesting because I do not have brow products that are this red. Um, my brows turn uh, a, a little too red, <laughs> I think. It do does kind of match my hair up here. Okay, not. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it looked good, you know, outside of the light, but I think I overcolored them a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going to use some pomade today. So I'm going to use the NYX Tame & Frame pomade in the shade Brunette, which might actually turn out like a good combo right now since my brows are so red but we'll see we'll see how this goes When it comes to coloring your eyebrows, uh, it's much better to have the, the color in a little bit too short than too long and do um, like color them twice instead of once if you need more color. That's what I did today. I did it once and then I was like, it looked a little bit uneven and it wasn't really as good as I wanted it to. So I colored them one more time and um, I think that was a little bit too long. I heard that. Oh. No. Okay. I thought I heard a munch. Actually done that pretty well. I think I will need to kind of cover up the the paint stains, the color stains with a little bit of concealer. But I do think this looked pretty good.
Yes. Good, good, good. We're going to grab some concealer and just fix them up a little bit. Wiping off, wiping off most of the pomade from my hand, just so I don't smudge it everywhere. Because I managed to done, do that before. You don't really, really need that. I'm grabbing my Mac Photo Finish Concealer um, in NC15. That's what I usually use around my brows nowadays. Gonna go around the brows and clean them up a little bit. Yes. Last step in finishing the brows is some brow gel. My hairs are a little bit long in the ends of my brows, so they are a little bit difficult to get into place. And that's also a reason why I use brow gel, just to try to keep them in place. Holy mackerel! So let's go back to the eyes and finish them off. I feel like I do want to enhance that green shade a little bit more. I want that to be visible. Change. 
And again, just moving over, switching to my blending brush. It's a blending brush. I'm using it as a blending brush. Yes. My mirror is dirty, as usual. So I'm just going to clean it quickly. so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's figure out what to do next. Do I want some pigment on this? Do I have a green pigment? I think I do. Mm, I have a dark green pigment. I think I also should have like a coppery pigment. Here's some wear. It's more brown, I would say. She has a little bit of green specks in it. It's nice. And we have this dark, dark green pigment. Hello, hello. Hi, sweet girl. 11. What? Sweet girl 1015. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. I do feel this is more like a metallic than a pigment. It doesn't really have a lot of shimmers in it. I wouldn't say it has, which disappoints me a little bit. It's a really, really lovely color. So this is more like a loose eyeshadow. Um, but I did find the other one here that have, I don't know if you can see this, but it has a little bit of green a green shimmer to it. So I'm going to add a little bit of this on top. Um, I do wish I had a little bit more of a coppery pigment. Don't seem like I do though. It's this one. This is also a pigment that has like a uh, green specks in it. Difficult to say what color this is. Oh my god, that's so lovely. It's red, but it has like a blue sheen to it. That is amazing. So that's not really fitting today, but I do want to try this out um, someday. How about this one? Isn't this the one I tried out? No, wait. I think this is a similar one. Okay, that is slightly coppery. We could use that one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Maybe a mix of these two? Okay, let's try it. Why not? Let's experiment. So what I have here is two loose pigments from Inglot. It is number... 1409 Cosmic Glow in number 22. 
So it is this one, you see it, this one and that one. Now in, in this angle, this one actually looks more pink. It does look a little bit more pink in the container as well. Okay, we're gonna ditch that. Gonna ditch it. I'm going to try a little bit of this one, which was the 14, 1409. I'm going to have a look in my eyeshadow palettes though to see if I have kind of a transparent shimmery green. I do have this one, which is uh, Evergreen. I've used it in a couple of makeup looks before, um, which I could actually use. It is very soft, it has like a, this green shimmer to it. Oh yes. Yes, clean. <laughs> Not sure if it's transparent enough though. I might be able to kind of spread it out on top of the black one just to get a little hint of green. Um, I'm going to grab a decently fluffy brush. I'm going to grab this one. This is the 227 Soft Definer from Zoeva. Uh, when it comes to pigments, they're pretty difficult to work with when they're dry. I usually kind of mix them out with some Duraline just to get uh, a kind of liquid form. Um, but now I don't want to sweep off the product that I have on my lids. I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to it. I don't want much color. So I would prefer to add it as a dry product. Um, so I'm going to try this brush and see how it goes. Or actually, maybe it would be better with my finger. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to use my ring finger. Just tap some of that out there. And I'm tapping it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was amazing. I managed to get a little bit in my brows as well. <laughs> this is what I mean with, um, you know, pigments being difficult to work with. Because <laughs> they get everywhere. It is basically a glitter that you push, put on your face. Um, and glitters get everywhere. Applying it to the next eyelid. Now this this ring finger is a little bit sweaty. Oh God, yes. Yes. And as you can see, you need very little of this, unless you want like a full out glimmer, glam. I don't know if that is a genre, I just inv invent invented it apparently. <laughs> I 
do feel like I want to go in a little bit with that black. Just a teeny tiny bit on top of this. Because I want that coppery shimmer. I don't know if I succeeded in that, but it looks good though. All right, we are putting uh, eyeshadow underneath our eyes as well. So we're going to continue with that black eyeshadow. I'm going to put um, a little bit of the green one first because we do want it to shine through. We want a cohesive look. As usual on my right eye, I always manage to pull the eyeshadow a little bit too far down in the outer corner. That's okay. Just wipe that off. Here comes the tricky part because now we need to be really careful in not putting too much on here. Very, very close to the last line. Pulling it in the outer corner. Remember, we don't want much of this. We just want a hint of it as a transition, transition color. And then the black. Luckily, the brush that we use for the black is a pretty thin one, so we don't really need to uh, worry too much about pulling it too far out. But we can get fallout, so. very carefully 
All right, then we're gonna grab the brush for the light green. I'm just gonna brush this over. This is gonna help blend all these shades together. We want that kind of smoky look to it. Okay, last but not least, we're just going to add a little bit of that pigment. It's a teeny tiny bit. I don't want to use my finger for this because the finger is going to be too big. So I'm going to use a very teeny tiny small brush. This is the 238 Lux, Pre Lux Precise Shader. What's happening to my speech? I don't know. Sometimes my brain is just... That's all it does. <clears throat> oh boy, I managed to get glitter all over my under eye area. It's okay. I will just wipe my brush off and add a little bit of powder and see if we can manage to cover it up. Not really, but it is such small amounts that I don't think it's going to matter that much. I'm just wiping more on my face since those are the fingers I used to apply it to my lid. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, on top of this, we are actually done with the eyeshadow now. I'm really, really happy with this. I love this. <laughs> I think these are the best smoky eyes that I have made on stream so far. So I am really happy. I mixed it! <laughs> Let's grab some, uh, some makeup remover. I need to wash off my fingers and my hand because it's full of full of pigments. And that didn't really work. Maybe a little bit. I'm getting tiny specks of paper. Should have used a cotton pad. Why didn't you use a cotton pad? I don't know. Sometimes my brain is like, this is a good idea. No, it's not. 
think we all can relate to that, or you all. made either. It had dried down very, very good in my hand. There we go. Okay, so on top of this, I'm going to apply some tight liner. So I'm going to use my Pixie Tight Line Black I Define Waterline. This is a twist up twist up pencil that is especially designed for tight lining tight lining is when you put color on your waterline uh, on top and below your eye um, since you know those areas are wet you have to have, you must have a kind of a special product for, for that, either a gel liner or, you know, something waterproof. Because if you don't use waterproof um, product on your waterline, it's just going to run off and uh, the effect is going to disappear. And the product is going to place itself elsewhere, as you might imagine. Um, for example, along your lash line, which I guess isn't really a bad thing, but still... Before we do that though, we're going to apply some mascara. I haven't really made up my mind if I want to use lashes or not today. But we'll see what I feel like after I apply mascara. Without any fuzz on the brush. Hopefully. Oopsie. Managed to get mascara. Since we have such a dark color underneath our eyes, it doesn't really matter, which is really nice. But, you know, it would be nice not to get mascara on your skin. <laughs> There we go. I do have something stuck on my eye. Yes. There we go. 
Now, question. Should we have lashes or not? I think lashes would actually make a look like this instead of break it. So, let's have a look in our lash drawer. I think I'm going to use these ones today. These are the NYX Wicked Lashes in the shape Exposed. I do remember last time I wore these that I really liked them, so they were a little bit difficult to get on. I do struggle a little bit with false eyelashes, so I need practice. I need to practice. A pair of tweezers. Starting with the left eye. We're gonna let that dry a little bit. This is where I, I usually do wrong because I usually uh, wait a little bit too little time before I try to put them on. So I do suck at putting false eyelashes on, I do admit. I admit it.
Hi, Sanchi. Oh, I'm glad you do. Yeah, I'm trying a little bit. I'm trying to find angles that work. Um, I started using my camera as a phone. Uh, my laptop did get a blue screen in the beginning of the stream, which uh, was a little bit aggravating, but we got up and running pretty quickly and it's been behaving so far. Knock on wood. Yes, exactly. How are you doing today, Sanji? I need to figure out a way to clean my false eyelashes. Mm -hmm. 
It shouldn't be too difficult. It's just that I have just started wearing false eyelashes, so I have no idea how you clean it. it from what I understand, it's you only need like makeup remover and a Q-tip or something. Because the strips, especially when they're attached to, you know, eyes that are full of eyeshadow, they get discolored and dirty. You didn't expect? <laughs> well, you're, I'm glad you're, that you're doing okay. You seemed to have fun last night. Was a... It was really nice to watch and be a part of it. Let's see, I need my brush. So when the glue has dried, all we do is try to brush my natural lashes and the falsies together. And boom! Nice! Slowly but surely getting better at applying false eyelashes. I should trim them. Um, like, when I was using my false eyelashes in the school assignment, my teacher was like, have you trimmed the eyelashes? Like, trimming? <laughs> what is trimming? I never trim my eyelashes. <laughs> Why not? My teacher was like, sounded almost, I don't know, distressed about the thought that I wasn't trimming my eyelashes. I tried to trim them when I put them on my model uh, in on Thursday, but then because the strip was so thick, it just looks really looked really really weird. Maybe if I put eyeliner on top of it, it what might look not look as weird. Or it was the type of the eyelash that I used. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not accustomed or familiar with using false eyelashes too much. It is a work in progress. Now, where did I put that lash glue? Did I drop it on the floor again? Wouldn't surprise me. Just put the box there for now. All right. Last step of the eyes is the liner that I talked to you about before. Since we have lashes on and everything, this is just going to tie the whole look together.
Look at those eyes, guys. Oof. Boy. That really made the top of the cake. That was the top of the cake. Okay. We have the rest of the face left. So we need uh, blush and we need some highlight. What kind of blush do I feel like today is the question. I do have a couple of different blushes. I do feel like I'm going to use the regular one that I usually use. This is from Pure Colors. It's a mineral blush called Pink Lily. No, it's just, I like this color. It's a good color for me. I'm going to use the angle brush for this. This is the 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek from Zueva. My brushes keep shedding. Was maybe a little bit too close to my nose. That's okay, we can fix it. black underneath my eyes. Shoot. See, that's what I told you. The risk of using Dark eyeshadows, colorful eyeshadows. So, um, how was how was um, Nico's party after after stream, Sunshi? Was it fun? There we go. Last but not least, a little bit of highlight.
just hanging out a bit. Was there one more hour than falling asleep in Discord? Oh no. Well, at least you got some social interaction, a little bit of hangout. I know. I almost wiped the product off my nose again. Fucking. now is actually the lips with this kind of eye look I am not really sure I don't want think I want a lot of color on my lips I am go think I will go for a little bit more of a natural nude lip color We're going to prep the lips first, um, anyway. We're all going to do that with some um, MAC Prep and Prime. That's some crusty lips! I think I'm going to, uh, I need to, uh, scrub my lips a little bit, guys. I'll be right back. we go well, let me tell you a trick that I learned long ago when it comes to scrubbing your lips if you don't have like a lip scrubbing um, product what you, what you can do is like even you can take your toothbrush moist mitt and then just scrub your lips with it it works wonders, let me tell you. All right, let's see.
have so many lipsticks I want to try. But it's like, it feels like either I have to choose between colorful eyes or colorful lips. I know that isn't true. I've done a, a plenty of looks where I have where I've had both, but still, I need to find another nude lip pencil soon. Again, I'm going to use the NYX matte lip liner. It's called Dessert First. I have glitter in my eyebrow. Actually, you know what? Let's use a darker lip pencil. Let's create a little bit of, a, of an ombre effect. Going out, going out on a limb here, so I'm going to use this one, which is also a NYX matte lip liner, but it's in the shade Hooked on Love. It is a brown one. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing about now. What? How did we break you this time?
There we go. And then we'll just add a lip gloss on top of this. Maybe we should add a little bit of lip color as well. I'm going to use this one. This is a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Tea and Cookies. And on top of this, we're going to add a little bit of lip gloss. I'm going to use the one from ColourPop Rock, Rip, Rock Beauty Crispy Collaboration. I'm just going to get it. It's been in the hallway since Thursday because I was meaning to take it with me to school, but that didn't happen. So, <laughs> this one, this is called um wildflower basically just a sheer nude gloss with a little bit of sparkle in it There we go. If you want to get rid of excess lipstick so it doesn't get stuck on your teeth, you can put a finger in your mouth and just put your lips around it and the excess lip gloss or lipstick will get stuck on your finger instead of your teeth. This is also a neat trick for me to you. And now we have beautiful ombre lips. I do feel like the lip line needs to be cleaned up a little bit, so I'm going to use my concealer for that again. Maybe the lip, pen the lip pencil wasn't sharp enough or something. I don't know. It's just...
drink, 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 drink it up. I'm standing right here for you. But you claim I'm never there for you. So you go to another guy you claim is your best friend. You've been nothing more than that since the day you met them. Why? Oh, why you laying on his chest? You said that you and him were just friends. Now you leave me no choice but to say this. I choose you. There we go, much better. Okay. Only one step left, guys. You know what it is. It is spring time. And again, I'm going to use my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Actually, maybe we should try a new one. And I bought a new one which i've been wanting to try for a very very long time this is the urban decay all nighter long lasting makeup setting spray from all of the lists that i've been looking at from all of the sites that i've been looking at this is one of the best setting sprays that are out there so i've been wanting to try this for a very very long time not that i have any like opportunity to really try it out since i'm getting all dolled up but i have nowhere to go so <laughs> but you know we are going to try it to see how it feels how it smells and how it behaves so let's do that oh wow this has like a really really fine mist He's aiming with this. smell anything particular it smells pleasant it has this kind of um, I don't know how to explain it, it has a lightly very very light perfumey smell but I can't really distinct what kind of perfume it is I can't really put my finger on what it is but it smells nice. It smells really nice. It smells very different from my normal setting spray. It feels much, much lighter. Um, the diffuser in this is so fine. It just, it dried up immediately. Um, so, oh, this is the Ultra Glow. Oops. <laughs> I wasn't going for glowy today, but sure. And again, I need to clean my mirror. Because I managed to get setting spray all over it. Very fine setting spray. Okay, I can see I've gotten a little bit of glow, especially in the parts where I kind of uh, noticed that I got um, the biggest amount of setting spray. But it is a very like subtle glow, at least for me because um, the base is actually very matte, so I won't get a lot of glow unless I have glow in an area which is like all the areas where I put the highlight. I do feel like I want, want to grab a fluffy brush and just go over with a little, little bit of powder around my mouth because right now it feels like I kind of brushed off the base that I created. Um, it 
when I corrected my lip. Um, happy Saturday. How are you doing today, my friend? Let's try to get that down with the rest of them. <laughs> All right, this is the finished makeup look for today. Um, since I'm using my phone as a camera, I can't really zoom in. Um, seems like the controls on in the Android cam software is not really working as it, they, it should. Uh, I do hope that you kind of can see properly. Um, I don't know if you feel like the cell phone camera's quality is better than the webcam. I really, really hope so. It looked like that from the clips that I've been taking through uh, this last year. So hopefully you can see, I don't have much detail right now, but I do have a lot of shimmer on my eyelids. So I really, really hope that you can cat catch that on camera right now. I adore this eye look today, guys. It is sassy, it is sexy, it is spicy, it is. Mm, it is there. <laughs> oh, I miss you too. Well, what have you been up to? I haven't seen you in a while. Okay guys, let me find a couple of earrings and um, my camera and um, you know what it's time for. It's time for a small photo session. I don't know what I did with this top here. Nothing much, okay. I have some pigment left here. Don't want it to go to waste. Should I apply it on my lips? I don't know. I don't want. I wouldn't like to like it to go to waste. So maybe we should try that. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, it works. It works. Gives a little bit of a goldy sheen to the lips. Looks good. So, let me get some earrings and my camera.
Okay. There we go. Again, it feels like the ring light is too high up. I forgot. I saw that I had something on my eye. Oh, yeah. We'll be right just 
<laughs> Hi, Samir. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Incredible. I finished my drink. It's unusual that I, that I do that during these streams. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just still trying to figure out what what the best lighting is here. Sorry about my boyfriend. good ones here. I believe um, my boyfriend is about to be playing Smash with his buddies. Could be a little bit noisy. 
just a FYI. A couple more. I'm on to something here, so I'm just gonna experiment a little bit more. Okay, never mind. Um, I think I got right. a couple good ones. Well, like the last ones, like Yo. I think. No, it wasn't good enough. That one was good. This one. Yes. <laughs> How many pictures have I taken today? <laughs> um, let's see. That's um, seven times two, three, four, two, eight. Um, only thirty-three. That's not bad. Nope, that didn't work. This is better.
we knocked out, say. Never mind. I'm taking a bunch. Hopefully, one of them is good. So, I'm pretty happy with this, though. I like it. You can call them some other. Huh? You can call them what? Twenty four. Not my silver. Um. Then the free tempo. Then the free tempo. Then the free tempo. Yeah, the Xbox. Then the free tempo. Okay, let me put my glasses on. <laughs> now it's like the whole purpose of the makeup is gone. Because <laughs> now I covered them up with. Very, very dark glasses. <laughs> I didn't really like this makeup look today, guys, so I'm really, really happy about this. So, Hello. oh, yeah, you like this? You almost did it. Never mind. Okay. Pretty. Well, thank you. Now it looks like. Uh oh, what happened? What happened? Am I still streaming? Uh, seem to have a little bit of a hiccup here. Let me see, I'm going to try to fix a Okay, it seems like my droid cam has um, crashed. Yeah. Let me try to figure this out. Oops. What happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we 
restart this. There we go. All right, let me do like this. There we go. So, um, I think I'm done for the day, guys. Two hours and 40 minutes. That wasn't really the, the longest makeup stream I've done, but that's what happens when I actually go in and I yeah. manage to form a plan. Uh, I don't really feel it's fair to you guys to keep streaming when uh, my boyfriend is gaming in the background anyway, so. Um, I'm going to end this stream here. Um, don't go anywhere. We are going to raid somebody as usual. Uh, so I'm going to take a look and see who we can find. Uh, I'm going to remove this so I can close my makeup table. Hey, you don't mind. Hey. Hey there. Okay. Alright, let's see who we can raid. And first of all, let me show you kind of a... Try to show you a close-up. I don't know if I can zoom in in the software now. Pro Cam X Pro. I have the free version. I guess I need to buy the pro version to make that work. Maybe that will be worth it. I mean, if the if the camera image is much better than my webcam, wrong webcam, maybe it would be worth it to invest in the pro version of Android Cam. I don't know. What you, what do you guys think? Um, do you think feel like the picture is better now that I'm using my phone? Yeah. Or do you think it's the same as with the webcam? I want to ask if I can make a show for all this. We need to keep going. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Do we have any makeup streamers? Lady Lone Wonder is doing yeah. makeup. But otherwise, we don't really didn't really have a lot of makeup streamers streaming right now. So let me take a look in the category. somebody called um Brella Brella Vis Bri Brio Brio Lavis I'm not sure how to pronounce this username uh unfortunately <laughs> hi aloha crow welcome welcome in 
Happy Saturday. I hope that you're having a nice day. Uh, I am in the process of reading, unfortunately, so you're a little bit late as usual. <laughs> My boyfriend has just started playing Smash with his buddies as well, so uh, I don't want to force him to stay quiet. Um, Otherwise, I would gladly have chatted away with you guys, but you know how the microphone is. It's so sensitive, so. Uh, we are going, yeah, we're going to read somebody called Brelavis. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. She says, hi friends, my name is Bree. I'm a 25-year-old part-time streamer located in the United States. I'm a variety streamer that loves makeup, RPG simulator games, and survival games. So she is doing uh, makeup right now. Um, I'm not sure what she is doing. She says first makeup then Twitter decides today's game. So she's one of those streamers that first does makeup and then plays a game. Thank you so much Aloha Kra. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was really really happy with today's makeup look. Um, I tried a new product today, which was, which was the MAC paint pot in black to see if it actually was better to create a smoky eye with than a gel liner, for example, and it worked wonders. Uh, I also found a really, really lovely pigment to add on top of it. So it was, um, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, but yes, thank you, Aloha, and, the, and got right back at you. I do miss you. <laughs> I hope that you're doing all right. Um, but yes, we're going to read her. Um, here is my recall, guys. Copy paste. Let's spread that long-eared fluffy love. Thank you so much to everybody that has showed up today. I do hope that you enjoyed my new layout uh, where you can actually follow a little bit more uh, along with what I'm doing in my makeup table when I do my makeup. I have not done too much mixing today though, so it might ha not have been uh, that much to look at today, but it gives you a little bit more of a detailed look um, about you know how it looks in my makeup table and what I actually do when I do my makeup. So I'm going to try to continue um, with this setup. I actually really like it. It does concern me a little bit that my laptop gave me a blue screen in the beginning of the stream. I'm not sure if it actually th thinks that running Android cam with OBS might be a little bit too much. I don't know. Uh, I do believe I checked the um, system manager, process manager. Um, in the control panel, one of the first times that I used it to see how the laptop was handling it, I think it was handling it well, but I'm not entirely sure now. Oh. And I had dropped a pen into the cat's water fountain. That was nice. But yes, I'm going to try to um, continue with this setup. Um, and this was unfortunately the makeup stream for this weekend. Uh, I will be back tomorrow and I will be playing uh, Okami and continue on our story there with my very newish voice acting. But I really hope that I will see you there. Otherwise, I wish you a lovely, lovely, lovely Saturday and a lovely Sunday. I really hope that your, the weekend has been treating you well. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Why didn't you want to do that? There we go. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all the comments and the chats. Um, please, please take care of yourselves out there. I really hope that you spoil yourself a little bit extra today since it is Saturday and we are in the middle of the weekend. 
So please, please do not feel ashamed to really grab yourself a snack or a good drink or something that just gives a little bit of extra joy today. <laughs> uh, I really hope that I will see you tomorrow. Much, much, much love from me to you. I love you, whether you're old or new to my channel. Sending you off to Relevis. Remember to copy paste my rate call and let's spread that long air fluffy love and make her day. Stay safe and see you soon. From the Relevis Girl. a little taste Now I'm a sucker for this I took a little bite And now I'm stuck forever, ever So let me have a little more I'll do everything you're asking for I took 
My breath of the wind. You are. 